If you're asked to divide five by seven, here's how you do it. There are a few ways. First, we could think of this as a fraction. Five divided by seven, that's the same as five over seven. So we could have a fraction. We could also do this on our calculator. And when you divide five by seven on your calculator, you get 0 0.714, and this number keeps going. So I've rounded this number here to three places after the decimal point. You could also do this longhand. You could take five, and see how many times seven goes into five. Seven doesn't go into five, so why don't we call this 50, and then we could put zero and a point up here. Seven times seven, that's 49. So when we subtract, we have just one. Since seven doesn't go into one, we can call it 10 and move over a decimal place. One times seven, that's seven. Subtract, we get three. Seven doesn't go into three, call it 30, and we move over one. 4 times 7, that's 28. Subtract, we have 2. And we can just keep going here. I'm going to stop here at 0 0.714. That's what we got before on our calculator. So this number is rounded. It does keep going a bit further. But if you need to, just keep dividing. This is Dr. B looking at 5 divided by 7. The answer is either 5 sevenths, if you want a fraction, or 0 0.714, if you want a decimal. And again, this is rounded. Thanks for watching.